The only way you're ever going to get to the other side of this journey is you have got to suffer to grow. To grow, you must suffer. And some people will get it, some they won't. But they have to see what their journey is to start their journey. Several people live to be 100 years old. They have great lives, and they have great kids. The kids go to college and all sorts of stuff. But somewhere in their life, there was a point where they had a decision to make. They can go left or right on this path. The left was the easy route. The right was the hard route. A lot of people take the easy route. And they had a good life that way, but the better life was going to the right side. And you may have 20 years of pain and suffering to get past it, but a lot of us die never truly starting our journey. observing that makes you jealous and resentful is in large part an illusion that's created by your own mind. And I... There are two things we should never have to chase. True friends and true love. People make time for who they want to make time for. People text and reply to people they want to talk to. When someone tells you that they're too busy continuously, believe them. Don't try to convince them otherwise. Don't try to force them to make time for you. If they want to, they will. It hurts, but you can't force someone to have feelings for you. Remember, the genie in Aladdin could do everything apart from that. You shouldn't have to beg someone to love you. You shouldn't have to beg someone to care. You shouldn't have to beg someone to try. You shouldn't have to beg someone to talk to you and you shouldn't have to beg someone to put you first. If they wanted to, they would. Don't let people become a priority in your life when all you are to them is an option. When you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. If I give you one message to hold in your hearts today, it's this, never, ever give up. There'll be times in your life you'll want to quit, you'll want to go home. Just never quit. I've seen so many brilliant people. They gave up in life. They were totally brilliant. They were top of their class. They were the best students. They were the best of everything. They gave up. I've seen others who really didn't have that talent or that ability. And they're among the most successful people today in the world because they never quit and they never gave up. So just remember that. Never stop fighting for what you believe in and for the people who care about you. If I made that money, I'd sit on a beach, I'd drink beer, and I would just watch the sunset kind of like a Corona beer commercial. Have you ever thought about that as a career option? Uh, you know, I find that really pretty boring. So <laughs> that would be torture if I had to do that every day. That would really be pretty awful for me. I really need to be preoccupied with something. Uh, and I, if, if I'm just sort of sitting there relaxing, I can only do that for a very short period of time and then it becomes unbearable. And you can want to make money, but are you motivated <clears throat> beyond just profit motive and racking up dollars? Yeah, yeah. no, I'm a volunteer. I mean, I don't need the money. Um, there's nothing, I, I mean, I, it's not like I'm sitting here saying, I wish I could buy such and such a thing. I could buy it. Um, I get paid minimum wage, actually. I don't even get overtime. You know, I think my, my sort of drive to get it done is somewhat disconnected from hope, enthusiasm, or anything else. I just actually just don't care about hope or enthusiasm, motivation. I just 
give every, give it everything I've got, irrespective of, of what the circumstances may be. You just you just keep going and get it done. Never say I can't afford it. My rich dad forbade his son and me to say the words I can't. He says, ask yourself, how can I? The reason I have so much money is because I don't say I can't do it. I just go, how can I do it? If a man asks you out and he's not willing to buy you a plate of food, how can you possibly think that this guy can take care of a family? That, yo, sometimes you have to realize that, yo, this is it. It's happening now, you know? And and this this moment decides the longevity of this whole thing. So you know, some, some mornings you got to wake up and be like, yo, this is my thing, not anyone else's. No one can talk to me.